Hey guys, what's up? It's Pixel8 here and welcome back to another Sims 4 news and info video. So this is the second part of today's update video for console gamers. So this is update version 1.1. Four, great news for console simmers. Finally, we get to answer the often asked question. When is mouse and keyboard support coming to PlayStation 4 and Xbox One? The answer, right now. What's new? Mouse and keyboard support is available to all console players of The Sims 4. Simply connect your mouse and keyboard of choice and away you go. You may be wondering how to adjust the mouse sensitivity or switch to left-handed play. PlayStation 4 and Xbox One handles these settings for you. Just head to the following locations on your console to make changes. On PlayStation 4, click Settings, Devices, then Mouse, and on Xbox One, click Settings, Connect and Devices, and Mouse. Lunar New Year came a little late to console, but now you can extend the celebrations with new recipes, vegetable dumplings, requires level one cooking skill, and mud carp, requires level seven cooking skill. There are a handful of new objects coming to consoles. Shadow of the Moon Table, a six seat round dining table, perfect for family meals. Moon Gazing Dining Chair, Fiery Moon Gift Centerpiece, Wealth of the Moon Envelopes, Lucky Citrus Tree of the Moon, Paper Lantern of the Wasseeker Moon, Symbols of the Watery Moon, Prosperous Moon, Moon Panda Toy, and Year of the Pig Statuette. There are also a handful of new clothing and accessories. For adults, there are two women dresses, one pair of fan earrings for women, and one jade necklace for women. And for men, there's just one jacket. For girls, there's one dress. For boys, there's one jacket. And for unisex children, there's one yin and yang necklace. For toddler girls, there's one dress. And for unisex toddlers, there's one hairstyle and one shirt. There are a bunch of general issues that were fixed with console and yes, there's tons of glitches and issues on PC and there's also going to be them on console as well. So just like with the PC patch, there are tons of bug fixes with consoles. Here are some of the general issues that were fixed. Sims will no longer be able to lie about employing each other in order to avoid marriage. Fixed an issue where the audio for the tutorial references skill levels for the career progression. Fixed an issue where terrain manipulation might crash the game when players were manipulating too close to the edge. Fixed an issue where clicking various spots with terrain tools would cause an error. The scroll bar in text messages will no longer reset the text field back to the top. Fixed an error that would happen happen when adding an extended roof to the top of an object. Corrected texture issues for the solid blue pants and corrected texture issues for rolled jean pants. Corrected shadows that were being added to clothes from new necklaces. Fixed an error when players would switch between children that were created through genetics. Fixed a few instances where terrain paint would not correct clear when using the bulldoze option in build. Fixed an error when trying to place a nightclub on a lot that is smaller than the lot that is provided. The Millie Bobby Brown Sim didn't know what to wear to attend parties, so we helped her pick out a new outfit. Fixed an error when trying to exit the pool in first person camera. Thanks to all the feedback, we have added more ways to customize controls while in first person mode, which you can find under game options, game camera. First person mode should no longer terrify you with sims that have missing heads. Playing basketball on the Sky Fitness lot while in first person mode won't require you to restart Sims 4, so no more excuses for missing that three pointer. Adjusting light intensity on items near the top of the lot will cause the panel to display off screen. Get together. Listening to music on the Lindsay smart speaker will now count towards the listens to music club rule. Seasons. Leaf piles should no longer become stuck in neighborhoods. They should automatically get cleaned up at the start of each winter season. And fix two toddler's hats, which were causing unintended shadows to appear on the toddler's eyes. These seem like a bunch of glitches that we had fixed a long time ago on PC, so kind of seems a little late to the game now that console's just getting this fixed, but they did receive seasons after PC and Mac, so it makes sense that the glitches can't be fixed as soon as PC and Mac. Get Famous fixed a text issue in the 24 hour live stream buff. Please excuse any technical difficulties, the stream will be back up shortly. Your Sims acting agent will no longer give you false pay information when completing a gig. Those agents are always trying to skim a little off the top. Fixed a texture issue with the sci-fi helmet and straight skirt. Corrected placeholder text on the celebrity home lot moodlet. Fixed an issue that prevented Sims from staying longer on a gig to practice their acting skills. Corrected text issue in the charity stream 
moodlet fixed floating sims while wearing one of the high skirts, corrected text issue in the tiresome energies buff from the crystal healing helmet, and fixed an error when placing Luminary's exotic water garden on a bulldoze lot. Two small fixes for outdoor retreat. Your sims can now pester or visit any campers of their choosing in Granite Falls. Fixed an error where Sims would get stuck in the forest hideaway lot in Granite Falls. And last, but definitely not least, vampires. Corrected texture issues on button pants. Of course, we have added a whole lot of community creations into my library as well as brought over some familiar faces from past Sims titles like the Newbie Family and the Grunt Family. Now, where did I put that mouse and keyboard? Sim Guru Legacy. So that's going to wrap things up for the console update overview. And now I have to say, after seeing all of the packs on PC slowly coming out on console and now having mouse and keyboard support, and I feel like they're really putting more effort and time into the console version of this game. I'm going to be honest with you, at first I wasn't really a fan of this game on console, but it seems like they're really putting a lot of attention into it. And I really like that. And I'm low key tempted to buy a PlayStation 4 so I can lay in my bed or sit on the sofa and play The Sims without having to sit at my computer desk. I want to hear from you guys. Are you a console player? Do you own this game on console? And are you excited for the update? And if you do plan to get this game or play it or update it, what about this update are you excited for most? The bug fixes, the new outfits, mouse and keyboard. Leave all of your comments down in the comment section below. I hope each and every one of you enjoyed this video. If you found it entertaining and or informative, give this video a huge thumbs up and add it to your favorites playlist. Subscribe to become a pixelator and ding the little bell next to the subscribe button to receive notifications for any type of future upload. Don't forget, you can follow me on social media. That includes Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Google+, Twitch, and much more. Links will be down in the description box below, and I will talk to all of you guys later. I love you so much. Bye.